Harvard MIT Math Tournament Team Selection 2022 Problem Number Four. The problem is the following: Let f of n be the number of permutations of the set one, two, three to n. So before solving this problem, if you have any question about the solution or want to have next videos, because I will release many Harvard MIT problems, Stanford problems. Olympiad problems for USA British. Uh, subscribe my YouTube channel now and turn on notification to have next video. Also like my video and if you had any question, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description or comments. Problem number four: Let f of n be the number of permutations of the set one to n such that no pair of consecutive integers appears consecutively and in order. For example, 2 doesn't immediately follow 1, and 3 doesn't immediately follow 2, and so on. Prove that the first one. So let me explain. So it says, for example, we don't have 1, 2 adjacent and in this order. We don't have 2, 3. We don't have 3, 4. So how many bad cases to, do we have? And we don't have n minus 1, n. So we say, Suppose the cases that have one, two permutations, A1, we label it A2, A3, AN. So the answer of part A is what is N factorial, all permutations, minus A1 union, A2 union, 2, AN. So, and that's what we solve it with PIE, principle of inclusion and exclusion. At first, we, we solve this um, because the problem says what f of n. So f of n is this. So the answer, we should prove this. So we call f of n is this. Now we try to calculate this n factorial minus a1 union a2 to a n. And then we try to prove this. So let's prove this part. We say what a1. Let's calculate. It will be n factorial minus a1 minus a2 minus a n. It is exactly the formula of PIE plus a1 intersect a2 plus a1 intersect a3 to a1 inter a n minus 1 intersect a n minus a1 intersect a2 intersect a3. So at first until plus negative 1 to the power of n a1 intersect a2 to intersect a n. At first we think that maybe you should consider cases for example for when we have two subsets, but all of them we can check are they same or not. So A1 is what? A1 is number of permutation that we have. Let me write rest of that with black. That we have one, two in this order. So it will be what you have if you count n minus two elements here plus this box. The idea of counting this permutation is consider this as a box. So you consider it as an element. So 1, 2 to n minus 1. We have n minus 1 elements if consider also these bugs. So each of them will be n minus 1 factorial. Now, for example, a1, a2. If you have a1, a2, a1 is 1, 2, a2 is 2, 3. So we have this and 4 to n. So n minus 3 plus this n minus 2 factorial. A1, A3, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4 different boxes. And if we consider n minus 4 plus 1 plus 1, n minus 2 factorial again. And the reason is because if you consider each, for example, if you add each AI, then uh, you subtract the number of elements by 1 if you consider the boxes. And the reason is this. So here it will be n minus 3 factorial and this one will be what will be n minus n factorial because when you have oh sorry 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 
let me correct it. it it is a n minus one because a one for one two a two for two three a n minus one so i should correct it n minus one n minus two n minus one a three and n minus one and it will be n minus n minus one one factorial so we can say okay it is what it is n factorial minus n times n minus 1 uh, let me correct it n minus 1 because we have n minus 1 n minus 1 times n minus 1 factorial plus n minus 1 choose 2 n minus 2 factorial and if we write the rest of that it will be negative n choose 3 n minus 3 factorial 2 plus negative 1 to the power of n, n choose n, 1, let me correct it, all of them n minus 1, and n minus 1, n minus 1, 1 factorial, and if I want to write all of them as um, a pattern, I can say it is n minus 1 factorial, if you factor and the first one will be n over, we can say 0 factorial minus n minus 1 over 1 factorial plus here. n minus 1, it is what? n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 2 factorial. So we can say what? We can say okay, it is what? n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 2 factorial over 2 factorial. So if you consider this one. And this one it will be n minus 1 factorial plus n minus 2, 2 factorial. If we do the same thing here, n minus 1, n minus 2 here for reaching n minus 1 factorial, n minus 3 is left. So it will be minus n minus 3, 3 factorial. So the norm of, sum of numerator and denominator before factorial is n to the last one plus negative 1 to the power of n and it will be what n minus 1 factorial and here it will be 1 here and the answer is n minus 1 factorial times this negative 1 to the power of n and here is exactly this now we found the formula by pie for f of n now if we want to solve let me copy this part we want to prove this, so we should what? We should replace here. Okay. And let's copy these two parts. Okay, so f of n is this, and we want to prove this part. So if I write, I want to prove what it is equivalent that y f of n minus n minus 1 f of n minus 1 minus n minus 2 f of n minus 2 equals 0. So f of n is what is n minus 1 factorial. Let me write the rest of that with black. n minus 1 factorial n over 0 factorial minus n minus 1 over 1 factorial plus n minus 2 over 2 factorial 2 3 factorial and let me write for example at the end for 3 terms plus negative 1 to the power of n minus 3 and 3 factorial n minus 3 factorial plus negative 1 n minus 3, n minus 2, uh-huh. So let me do something here. It was what? Sorry, here we should consider, because we have n minus 1, we should correct this part. n minus 1, n minus 1, because we have here a negative 1 to the power of n minus 1. So we should correct it. And now that we want to use, we say, okay, it's n minus 1. 3 n minus 3 factorial n minus 2 2 factorial n minus 2 factorial plus negative 1 n minus 1 
over n minus 1 factorial. It's the first one, minus. n minus 1, if you write the formula here, n minus 2 factorial times n minus 1, again, it will be n minus 1 factorial over n minus 1 over 0 factorial minus n minus 2. You should uh, decrease n by 1, n minus 2 by over 1 factorial plus n minus 3 by 2 factorial. minus n minus 4 over 3 factorial and we say again okay minus negative 1 n minus 3 sum of them n minus 1 it will be 2 factorial n minus 3 factorial plus negative 1 n minus 2 1 factorial over n minus 2 factorial and the last minus n minus 2 times this here we have what f of n minus 2 here. n minus 3 factorial times this minus n minus 2 factorial times what n minus 2 over 0 factorial minus n minus 3 over 1 factorial plus n minus 4 over 2 factorial minus n minus 5 over 3 factorial plus negative 1 to the power of n minus 3 1 sum of them is n before factorial n minus 2 so 1 factorial n minus 3 factorial the last term here and we should prove why it is equal to 0 okay now if we consider these for example one column i factorial so it will be what if i consider this so for example for i factorial and i is let me tell between until here we have all columns in all of them i is between 0 and 2 at most n minus 3 so it will be n minus 1 factorial and over i factorial here and n minus i and the sign is what negative 1 to the power of i minus n minus 1 factorial over i factorial but here it's n minus i minus 1 negative 1 to the power of i minus n minus 2 factorial n minus i minus 2 over i factorial negative 1 to the power of i we want to simplify this so let's see what we have in all of them we have n minus 2 equals n minus 2 factorial in all of them we have i factorial we have negative 1 to the power of i we have so it will be what n minus 1 is left here times n minus i all of them we have minus n minus 1 again times n minus i minus 1. Okay, minus n minus i minus 2. Okay, it will be exactly this. Now, if we want to simplify, it will be what? n minus 1 times n minus i minus n minus i it will be minus 1 it will be plus 1 minus n minus i minus 2. we can cancel n and it will be what i plus 2 minus 1 i plus 1 so we have this term if we simplify each of them okay now we can consider i and plus 1 so it will be what it will be if i want to consider i times this will be n minus 2 factorial over i factorial uh -huh. if you multiply i it will be i minus 1 factorial negative 1 to the power of i and if you consider plus 1 n minus 2 factorial i factorial negative 1 to the power of i so here let's see what we will have 
So, I have what? I have for 0, I know it is 0. If you multiply by 0, it will be 0. And for 1, it will be what? Uh, at first, let's write this for for 0. We know we can get rid of that because i is 0. And for i1, if we start, it will be n minus 2 factorial over 0 factorial negative 1 to the power of 1 will be negative 1. For 2, it will be, consider at first all terms related to this. For 2, it will be n minus plus n minus 2 factorial over 1 factorial. For 3, it will be n minus 1 minus n minus 2 factorial over 2 factorial. It's for 3, 2. n minus 3 will be negative 1 to the power of n minus 3. n minus 2 factorial, n minus 3, n minus 4 factorial. Now let's write the other things for this from 0 to n minus 3. If we replace n minus 2 for 0, n minus 2 factorial, it's negative 1 to the power of 0 positive 1 over 0 factorial. And for 1, it will be negative n minus 2 factorial over 1 factorial for 2, n minus 2 factorial over 2 factorial. And for n minus 3, it will be negative 1 to the power of n minus 3, n minus 2 factorial over n minus 3 factorial. And we can see what? They will be cancelled. They will be cancelled. Or let me write like this. Some of them will 0, this column, this column 0, this column 0. And this one, if I want to write better, we have one term more because 2 factorial to n minus 3 factorial is this plus this also will be 0. And let me plus the term previous, the last term. So what is left here? Negative 1, n minus 3, n minus 2 factorial over n minus 3 factorial. Now... We should be considered only these three columns. The cases that are left are these cases. Let me copy them. Okay, we should see the result here and these terms equals what? Okay, they should be zero. So I say it is what? Let's simplify. Uh -huh. And before each of them, Look for first one n minus one factorial for second one n minus one factorial minus this. So we have what n minus one factorial before this and negative n minus one factorial before this and also these terms. So here if you multiply n minus two factorial over this will be negative one n minus three n minus two. And plus this term, here it will be negative 1, n minus 2. If you multiply, n minus 1 is left here and times 2. And this one, if you multiply, plus negative 1 to the power of n minus 1. And if you multiply here, it will be negative n minus 1, negative 1 to the power of n minus 2. And uh, here it's 2, yes, plus this. Now if we calculate... It will be n minus 2 here. And uh, let's do something. Let's factor from negative 1 to the power of n minus 3. It will be what? n minus 2. And here will be negative 2 times n minus 1. The idea when you have negative 1 to the power of many terms, consider one of them as base, and then you understand which of them negative, which of them positive. Plus negative 1 squared, which will be plus 1. And here it will be negative 1 plus n minus 1. So n, 1 plus n minus 2 is n minus 1. n minus 1 plus n minus 1, 2 n minus 1 here, negative 2 n minus 1, which equals 0. So we've proved first part of this problem. Part B, for any real number theta, denote this sine theta, the nearest integer to theta. Proved that f of n equals 1 over n. Let me call this bracket. 1 over n times bracket n plus 1 factorial over e Euler's number. 
So now we try to use the term that we've proved for previous part that f of n equals this. And from here, we want to solve this problem. So let's paste it here. Okay. So it says what f of n is uh, equal to this number. So the sentence of the problem is equivalent that we prove n f of n equals y. It equals bracket n plus 1 factorial over e. Okay, and if we want to prove this, we should prove what f of n is here. So f n f of n, it is a, an integer and positive also integer. We should say what? We should say, okay, if we want, it is, for example, something, it is a, this one is a plus one, this one is a minus one. We should prove this number if we prove that it is a minus one over two, a plus one over two. If we prove that the number is on this interval, let me also open, open is better, close, it can, we can round it to here or here, but if we prove it is exactly in this interval, and we can prove this. And open then, we can say if we round this to nearest integer, it will be this. So we should prove n plus 1, absolute value of n plus 1 factorial over e minus n f of n is less than strictly less than one half okay now we want to we know e to the power of x is what we show it we say okay it is equivalent that n plus one factorial e to the power of negative one minus n f of n is less than one half okay if you want consider taylor series of e to the power of x it is what 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus and so on so here if i consider e to the power of negative 1 it will be what 1 minus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial minus 1 over 3 factorial and so on. Now we multiply n plus 1 factorial and we use the formula here. f of n is this. So if we multiply n by this, it will be n factorial and here n plus 1 factorial. So it will be what? Uh, I consider, let, let's consider this one plus this minus. So n f of n is what? It will be n factorial times what? The first one. n over 0 factorial minus n. It is not the sign of the problem. Let me write by this. Minus n minus 1 over 1 factorial plus n minus 2 over 2 factorial. And if we write it will be we should write until what until n minus 1 factorial and i can say okay negative 1 to the power of n minus 2 n minus 2 factorial 2 factorial or 2 plus negative 1 to the power of n minus 1 times 1 over n minus 1 factorial and it is n f of n minus n plus 1 factorial if i write in second line i finished minus n plus 1 factorial times what 1 and e negative 1 minus 1 minus 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial minus 1 over 3 factorial and so on and we should prove why it is less than 1 over 2 Okay, because to have equal terms, I can say, okay, I write each of them, for example, I want n plus 1 factorial to get, get rid of some terms. I write this one, n, n plus 1 minus 1, this one, n plus 1 minus 2, this one, 
n plus 1 minus 3, this one, m plus 1 minus n minus 1, and this one, for example, it is times 1, m plus 1 minus n. Now I can say what? m plus 1 times n factorial over 0 factorial. You can say, okay, this is 0 factorial. So we can cancel what? n plus 1 times this over 0 factorial. You can cancel what? n plus 1 here times n factorial over 1 factorial here minus 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 plus. So we can cancel this by this. Also, you can cancel n, n factorial, n plus 1 factorial, 2 factorial. So we can cancel all these terms by, let me write because we have to infinity here. You should write plus until n minus 1 factorial and it will be negative 1 to the power of uh, n minus 1 plus negative 1 to the power of n over n factorial so on so here you say okay it's n plus 1 n plus 1 factorial over this you cancel this you can cancel all these things and if we see what is left it is equivalent to prove that n factorial times negative 1 over 0 factorial plus 2 over 1 factorial negative 3 over 2 factorial 2 positive negative 1 n minus 2 and here we have negative so you can say okay negative 1 to the power of uh, let me write the rest it will be what n minus 2 factorial n minus 1 so you can multiply by this and it will be because we have minus minus negative 1 to the power of n minus here 3 and this part will be what negative 1 to the power of n times n over n minus 1 factorial and we should say this minus n plus 1 factorial times negative 1 to the power of n over n factorial plus negative 1 to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 factorial and so on why it is less than less than 1 over 2 okay now like previous time we do what we say okay <clears throat> 2 is what let me write with green let's stop that you say 2 is 1 plus 1 3 is what 2 plus 1. So n minus 1 is what n minus 2 plus 1. n is what n minus 1 plus 1. So you say okay. And 1 is 0. You can say if you want to write all of them like this. You say 0 plus. So 0 you can cancel this. And we say what? We say okay. I divide it to two parts. At first I consider only this. These ones, let me say, negative 1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over 1 factorial minus 1 over 2 factorial and plus negative 1 to the power of n minus 1 over times 1 over n minus 2 factorial plus negative 1 to the power of n times 1 over n minus 1 factorial. This is only we consider 1 down, we consider 0 plus n factorial. 1 over here, we can get rid of it, it will be 0. 1 over 1 factorial, you can say it's 1 over 0 factorial. Negative 2 over 2 factorial, negative 1 over 1 factorial. And if you consider, for example, the next one, 3 over 3 factorial will be plus 1 over 2 factorial. And if I write, this one will be n minus 2, n minus 2, n factorial, let me write exactly here, negative 1 to the power of n minus 1. Ah, uh, oh, sorry, it will be n minus 3 factorial. And if I write the last one, it will be what? Because here we started from 0, we have one less term. It will be negative 1 to the power of n times n minus 1 over n minus 1 factorial, which is 1 over n minus 2 factorial. And we can say, okay, we can cancel this, 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 and this. And 
only one term is left here minus some terms minus this let me call this one for example k it is equivalent at minus k is less than one now i can write what i can say okay the last term that is left n factorial times this which will be what negative one times n n factorial over n minus 1 factorial times n minus k minus k is what is let's consider the first one will be n plus 1 factorial times this will be negative n plus 1 if you simplify the first term negative 1 to the power of n and after this we have what plus uh, negative n minus for example n plus 1 factorial times this will be they will be cancelled negative 1 negative 1 times n plus the next term will be what negative negative 1 n plus 2 and what is left here n plus 2 negative negative 1 n plus 3 n plus 2 times n plus 3 and we have all these terms why they are less than 1 over 2. Now if we calculate the this the first three terms, let's say it will be what? If you factor from negative 1 to the power of n, I said when we have many negative 1 to power of something, consider one of them as base. It will be n minus n plus 1 and it will be minus minus 1. It will be this part let me write with this because this sign problem says it's for something else n plus 1 minus n plus 1 so it will be 0 and now the problem is equivalent let me write less of that with blue the problem is equivalent we can uh, because it's absolute value i can consider all of them as plus negative 1 to the power of n plus 2 over n plus 2 plus negative 1 to the power of n plus 3 over n plus 2 times n plus 3 and plus negative 1 to the power of n plus 4 n plus 2 n plus 3 n plus 4 and so on why absolute value of some of these terms is less than half okay now here we we want to prove this i know n is at least one so i can say okay if if i consider plus for all of them I can say okay absolute value if you consider plus for all of them it will be greater so you can say okay the absolute value of them is less than 1 over 3 replace n with 1 it is less than or equal you say okay and this one 1 over you consider plus for all of them so it will be strictly less than 3 times 4 plus 1 over 3 times 4 times 5. So you can say 4 squared because 1 over 5 is less than 1 over 4. Plus 1 over 3 times 4 cubed plus and so on. And if we calculate this, it will be 1 over 3. 1 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 squared plus 1 over 4 cubed. There are around 5 important formulas. You should memorize one of them is this. And the proof is in in one line. You can prove it. 1 minus 1 over 4. And it will be 1. And if we simplify this. It will be what? 1 over 3. Uh, 1. 4 minus 1. 3. 3 over 4. And it will be what? 4 over 9. And we know that it is strictly less than 4 over 8 which is 1 over 2, so we've proved the sentence of the problem. I will release other Harvard MIT math tournament also for other Olympiads if you want to have next videos, and I will learn, I will teach you how to solve these kinds of problems. Start from one thing logically and learn problem solving, and you can improve your problem solving exactly by how to solve step by step hard problems if you want to have next videos subscribe my youtube channel now turn on the bell and 
like my video and if you had any question about this video or other videos as i said before feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description or comments